Boom shakalaka, huge whale activity, insane Bitcoin divergence. Is this the signal or the noise? Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including some huge whale movements, insane divergences, and does this actually matter? Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now today, fear and greed at 47. Been going sideways for the past few days in that neutral territory after a dip down to fear a few days ago. The overall market down half a percent today. Bitcoin at 26.412, Ethereum at 17.25, BNB at 2.42, XRP 48 cents, Cardano 25 cents, Dogecoin 6 cents, Tron 6 cents, and Solana at 15.52. And the top coins today based on AI like ChatGPT, but specifically for crypto would be Aave, Phantom, Cosmos Hub, Lido Dow, and Ren. And you can check out token metrics for free. Link down in the description. Now, Bitcoin, just continuing in this downtrend until we did find support on this uptrend from December of last year, six month uptrend at this point. Now, it should be noted, we do have some potential resistance above the 50-day moving average right now at $27,000. So will this continue to push Bitcoin price down below this six-month trend? We'll have to see. But the beginning of this week, we had some pretty good news. BlackRock filing for a spot Bitcoin ETF, the first ever spot Bitcoin ETF, not a Bitcoin futures ETF, which can potentially drive the price down. This is a spot Bitcoin ETF, which can only drive the price up. Not only that, but BlackRock has an amazing record for getting things approved by the SEC. Getting approved almost 500 times, getting rejected only one time. So hopefully this one won't be number two. Now, after that news occurred, multiple large whales withdrew Bitcoin right after that happened, potentially aping in off the BlackRock news, getting Bitcoin off exchanges. Could this be good? Yeah, it most certainly could, especially when you take a look at this. We take a look at the accumulation and distribution for Bitcoin whales. Now, the whales are the ones greater than 10,000, this top row here. Below there is everyone else. And you can see that in the absolute bottom, whales were buying the whole thing. They pretty much stopped buying it. And then the price went up from 15000 to $30,000. Well, take a look at what happened now. And also note, this is kind of like a double bottom right here. Very strong buying, lightening up, very strong buying, pretty much stopped buying. Well, same thing is happening right now. Very strong buying, lightening up, very strong buying, lightening up once again. We have the double bottom. Could the whales have bought all their Bitcoin knowing that something of this nature was going to happen? Yeah, of course. It's called insider trading. Totally legal as long as you have the right connections. Now, that being said, before this happened, traders were at their most negative sentiment since Black Thursday, March of 2020. So while whales knew something big was going to happen, market was going to turn around, everybody else, probably the most pessimistic ever, Bitcoin is going to $10,000. I'm pretty sure that's any, all, the only thing that anyone tweeted at all on Twitter last week was Bitcoin's going to $10,000 before the BlackRock news. So where does that leave us? Well, Arthur Hayes, he has been doing a phenomenal job of calling the overall Bitcoin price moves pretty much since the top in what was that 2021 whatever that was well he said most recently okay the wall of worry is being climbed come with me on the bitcoin bull market bus we're still on struggle street but the moon ain't far away that's right the wall of worry while everybody is worrying that bitcoin price is going down to ten thousand dollars they're just going to keep getting liquidated the wall of worry will continue to keep climbing until Everybody knows that it's all up territory and then it's too late. So you want to get in early, which is right now, because if we take a look, just Bitcoin and the RSI amidst the short term volatility, it's sometimes advisable to take a step back to see where you stand in the cycle. We have the RSI histogram down here on the bottom with a moving average in yellow right here. And you can see when the histogram breaks through the moving average each cycle, this generally 
depicts the very bottom, the early entry point to get in while you climb the Wall of Worry before it's a sure thing, but pretty much as things are going up. With Bitcoin price drops and when price goes stagnant, starting to make a small return on the three-week RSI. Could be a brief opportunity. Don't squander it as Bitcoin has dropped into the RSI buy zone. These have been generational buying opportunities. May not last there. And especially with everybody screaming danger, price could go down. But it generally doesn't last very long. This one's interesting. If we just take a look at Bitcoin with the months until the next halving, showing this color range. So right now we're in this kind of teal color. Now, this teal was right after the summer rally back in 2019. But if we take a look at 2015, Bitcoin price was hovering right around this 200 week moving average. Similarly, where we are exactly right now, on par for the course 2015, right before Bitcoin price 100x. Gosh, wouldn't you like to have bought in early then? I know, me too. Well, it may not be over just yet. Just like in 2016, Bitcoin found resistance at the second line labeled on the MVRV at $31,000. You can see this black line right here found resistance similarly in 2016. Now, also, as in 2016, Bitcoin has found support at this green level. Same support we found in 2016. Reaching the mid-top line is an inevitability. We have not yet had that summer-esque rally of 2019 yet. That could send Bitcoin price much, much higher because we do have a very critical divergence. Check and money flow tells us whether money is flowing into something or out of something. At this moment, you can see massive increase in the Chaikin money flow, where we have a sideways to downwards Bitcoin price movement. Very similar 2013 to 2016, Chaikin money flow increase, sideways price movement. This is what's called a bullish divergence, generally sends the price skyrocketing, set up very similar to last time Bitcoin did 100x. And if you need any other reminder, just try and separate the signal from the noise. We have a lot of noise going on right now. We have SEC lawsuits. We have Binance. We have Coinbase. All of this is noise, okay? Bitcoin going to $10,000, noise. But if you take a look at the signal, how about some very real scarcity? How about the stock to flow model? How about the halving in April of 2024? How about BlackRock spot ETF? All of this is signal. And when we take a look at the stock to flow trading rule, generally it goes sideways for a very long time while Bitcoin price dips until we start rallying with that bull run. But it eventually always does come up to this sideways price move. Well, right now, the sideways price move over $100,000 for Bitcoin. That's already a 4x from where it is right now. Don't be kicking yourself when Bitcoin price gets back there and you set on the sideline the whole time so that's all for today's episode if you enjoyed it push the like button i'll catch you guys later have a good one love you Peace. if you don't think bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then 10 million dollars a coin you're already a loser from now on if you don't own bitcoin you're a moron